Uh, my name is Kelsey Brooks. I'm a painter and uh, I live in San Diego. Biology was something that I thought was interesting. It was a topic that I thought was really fun. Um, how this whole thing works, how this whole life system works is pretty cool. So I followed that into college and then in college I found microbes basically. I found viruses and bacteria and prions and these tiny little things that are can be so powerful in individual life and on a broader scale are just kind of like these really strange sort of unique life forms. The beauty in science is that it's just purely curiosity. It's just people being curious. But the strength behind it is that it is, like I said, formalized. But really what it is is just it's restricting your own ability to, to visualize the world. Right? It's saying like, okay, don't trust instincts. Don't trust this. Trust this process. And this process is basically empirical evidence. So you collect data, you analyze that data, and then it shows you what you can't see. I was I was at a, doing it at an undergraduate level, and so I was always working under um, you know, a, a PhD. What I really wanted was freedom, and so I had, choi I had a couple choices. I could either um, leave science and just pursue something else, or I could go back to graduate school. And so I left, and I took this um, trip, and being on that trip changed my life, and that's how I ended up here. But when I was on the trip, um, I had decided to augment what was a purely scientific education up until that point with with a couple other things that were outside of, of the purview of a, of a scientist. Um, and then I got interested in drawing. So at, at the end of every night, I had, a, had my journal and I would take out whatever was in my pockets and I would draw it. And over the course of a year, year and a half, however, during this time of, uh, that I was gone, um, the drawings just started getting better and better. And I, at the beginning, it was just, I don't know what I was thinking, <laughs> to be honest, I was just making. It was purely aesthetic. I was just driven on aesthetics and what I thought was interesting. And it wasn't until about two years ago when I started painting molecules that my, si my previous science career, my current artistic practice kind of became fused. It's like they can both be strong in this work. Um, they can both be true. Like a scientist can understand it just as well as a, a layperson or somebody who's interested in art.